channel. My name is William Pittendry, this is Diana and today we'll be showing you how to transform a filthy horse into a show horse. So to begin with we are going to start pulling her tail. She's not had her tail pulled for five to six weeks now so it's definitely in need of a tidy up. Um, I pull my tails a traditional way with my fingers and my comb. As you can see after stroking her she's rather dirty. So, if you're pulling your horse's tail for the first time, I strongly recommend you have somebody there to help and supervise you. And I would also start by pulling your horse's tail over a stable door, as some horses really object to it. Um, I'm very fortunate that my horses don't mind at all. I can pull their tails without them even being tied up, although I would not recommend that. Um, however, if some horses really object to it, you can use... Um, things like a tail rake, they don't leave as good a job because they go quite blunt um, but I do I do not object to them but I do prefer the traditional way so I strip the sides with my hands and the top I use a wide tooth comb um, as that leaves extra hair behind and doesn't make it bald and short. It's better to leave a longer bit on the top so it all blends in, as nothing looks worse than a um, really short tail and then a long tail. It all needs to blend nicely. I always start on the sides um, and I just grab a little piece of hair like this and pull down. As you can see, the hair comes off. Um, if you're pulling your horse's tail for the first time and it's never been pulled before, I would use your comb just to get rid of all of the bulk. Um, but again, I just pull down, and I don't like to take all the hair out the sides, as I think a bald look really looks awful. So I just um, I leave I leave enough hair behind so the dock is still covered, but it's still nice and neat and tidy. So as you can see, I've left hair that's um, lying flat so that the dock is still covered. However, any little bits of um, hair that are sticking outwards there, that's what I pull out just so it all lies nice and flat. You can see it's starting to take shape now, but when you pull the hair out to the sides, you can see you've still got all this long hair. So this is the hair that we need to get rid of so that it all lies nice and smoothly. So with my comb I'm literally just going to pull the hair to the sides and the hair that's there I'm just going to back comb it and pull down. Back comb it and pull down. Back comb it and pull down. Just keep doing this all the way down to the bottom of where you're pulling. Um, I should also mention um, how far down I go, so it all depends really how thick your horse's tail is. Um, I don't use false tails at all, so if my horses have a thin tail, um, I generally only go halfway down the dock. Um, however, if your horse's tail is quite thick, you can go even to three quarters of the way down. Um, really, it's just your preference, but I like my horses to have a thick tail so I don't go that far down. So now I've done one side. I'm now going to move across and then comb the hair over to that side. And then I'm going to back comb, pull down, back comb, pull down, back comb, pull down. Also, again, um, as there isn't really that much to pull out of her tail, I'm quite happy pulling it all today. Um, However, if you've got a lot of tail to pull out, I'd recommend doing it over three, three sessions maybe, possibly even four, just so your horse doesn't get agitated, as that way 
you're not going to make it a bad experience for your horse. Also, that will um, prevent you getting those bald patches on the sides um, if you do it gradually. So, see I've got a little bit of loose hair there. And then now you can see I've just got a little strip on the top. So I'm just going to grab my fingers there and just the long hairs that are left behind back home and pull down just so it all blends like I say we don't want to go too short so we're literally only taking very few hairs out now and then down here I like to leave it a bit longer again just so it all blends in and then as you will see we now have come on stand square come on see you can see we have a nicely Hold tail. Here we go. So now we've finished the tail, we're going to move on to her mane. Um, I think you've got three types of mane. You've got your really thick, coarse mane, you've got your thin mane, and then if you're like Diana, you've got a thick mane at the top and a thin mane at the bottom. So for the thick bit of the mane, I'm going to use my trusty comb again, um, but for the um, thin bits, I like to use, um, it's like a stripping knife, um, it's a knife with jagged, with a jagged end, and that just shortens the mane, but still leaves it natural. So this is my stripping knife, as you can see, it's got the little jagged ends, but they're sharp, so it cuts the mane. Um, but now I'm going to show you how to pull this and make it all blend in. So as you can see, she's not had her mane brushed for a very long time. Um, it's really important that you comb out the mane. As you'll see here, I don't have a bridle path. Um, it's just because I really don't like them. I find it spoils um, my plaits, as if I'm starting down here, it just ruins the overall picture. Um, so I like to have my top plait at the, you know, just behind her ears to begin with. Um, I find that leaves a much better picture. So I'm combing out the mane because what you may find is that if you pull the mane and you think, oh, I've got a beautifully pulled mane, you then comb it at the end and then you find, oops, I've left a bit off the other side. So then you've got to go back and fix all the little um, hairs that you've left. So by doing this, it just means you know you've got everything on the right side and you know where to start. Her mane's now all combed out. Um, so from here to about here, that's our thick bit. And here you can see it's quite thin. I, um, I don't use neck rugs at all. Um, well, I do actually, I tell a lie. The only time I use them is in the winter when I turn them out in the field or in the arena, really just to keep them clean, and that'll be for maybe an hour at the most. Um, so they don't have neck rugs on, and that just keeps their lovely mane, because again, nothing looks worse than um, a bald mane halfway down their neck. We're gonna start um, pulling now. I find in this area, Horses can be quite sensitive, so you've just got to be a bit careful and a bit more patient with them. I like to just use tiny little pieces like that, and like with a tail, back comb and pull out. And now I don't want to pull a lot out here because her mane isn't very thick, as I pulled it last time. Um, but as you can see, she doesn't like it very much, so that's why we've got to do tiny little pieces, just so she's nice and happy. Good girl. Now I like my manes to be about five five inches long. Um, that way it's nice and tidy for when they're at home, um, but they're still easy to be plaited as well. So I'm just taking possibly an, an inch off. And then as I get further down her mane, that's when I can start to add a few more pieces of hair, just so it's not as time consuming. Just keep going down like that. So back comb up, make sure it's got all that loose hair out of the way. Round the comb, 
pull down. Okay, so now we've pulled all the thick bits out, we've got the thin bit to do now. Um, so you can see I've gone, I've gone, well, maybe just a bit more of an inch actually, shorter. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my stripping knife, when I can find it, there we go. And all I do, so I've combed the mane, all I do is I get a section of the mane I pulled to use as my guide and all I'm going to do is back comb up like that like we would to pull and then just do that and it shortens the mane. I then get my comb back out again to comb out the back comb, get a little piece of mane, pull down. Now make sure you don't grab a piece of mane up here and pull down thinking oh that's level because when you let go of it you'll find it's going to be up there. So what you want to do is grab the mane when it's nice and relaxed, so it's level, then pull down, back comb up, and then just take that little long bit off. And as you can see there, it's all starting to blend in now. So if you've got any little straggling hairs, you just get those off, then move to your next piece, pull down, back comb up, and then almost almost stroke the hair with the with the rake because I find if you just go if you back comb up and then pull off it just it leaves it blunt so if you just like, stroke it down like that it just leaves more of a um, like a natural finish finished pulling her mane now so if you have a look you can see it's all blended in so from here down that's where I've used my rake and there and above um, with my comb so that's just a great technique that you can use to um, compensate for a horse with a thick mane and a thin mane okay so moving on to her forelock um, I don't pull my horse's forelocks Again, I just find it's quite a sensitive area for them, um, and I quite like them to have a thicker forelock anyway. All I'm going to use is the technique that I use for a thinner mane, and get my tail rake out. Not my tail rake, goodness gracious, no way. Um, get my, um, my stripping knife out, that's what I'm trying to say. So that's all combed out nicely, making sure there's nothing behind her ears. Lovely. And then for their forelocks, I like them to be at about eye level. So um, where their eye socket starts, that's where I um, generally like their forelocks to be. Um, I don't really like their forelocks up here. I like a longer forelock. Um, so starting from one end, I work my way around to the other side. So just back comb and then comb down back comb, comb down. I'm only taking a little bit off because her forelock hasn't really grown that much. But as you can see it's just starting to take those little long bits off. To make sure that I've got all the long hairs off I'm just going to comb through again once more. Oh, and I've left a little bit here and a little bit there so I'm just going to get those little long hairs they are only a few strands, but I'm quite particular. So now you can see it's all pulled nicely. When I bring it all in together, it just blends in really nicely. Good girl. 